Hi, my name is Lisa Cooley. I'm from the Australian National University in Australia and I'm doing research into the evolution of oxygen in the universe. Uh, I was born in Australia and I did my PhD at the Australian National University and after that I went to Harvard University to work on the star formation and chemical elements in galaxies. After Harvard I received a NASA Hubble Fellowship and I, which I took to Hawaii to use the largest telescopes in the world to observe the amount of oxygen in galaxies. I recently moved back to Australia and I'm doing a large survey with a, a large team of outstanding postdocs and students to understand how the chemical elements including oxygen as well as the ionizing radiation in the universe formed and evolved across 11 billion years of cosmic time. Uh, I'm using a very large nearby survey that we're conducting in Australia called the SAMI Galaxy Survey. And this survey uses new 3D integral field spectroscopy which creates data cubes of galaxies. These special 3D instruments are new technology which allows us to obtain a spectrum for every pixel that we look at on a galaxy. It's like having a spectrum for every pixel in your digital phone. That way we can understand where the oxygen and the carbon and the nitrogen are within galaxies. And if we look at hundreds and thousands of galaxies across cosmic time, then we can understand how the amount of oxygen and uh, carbon and ni nitrogen in the universe, it changed with time. And so we can understand how the elements in our periodic table built and formed across the history of the universe. We know that during the Big Bang, all that was created was hydrogen and a little bit of helium. So the oxygen that you're breathing and the carbon that you're made of has been created by the stars across uh, 13 billion years of cosmic time. And so with our uh, research, we're trying to understand how the amount of oxygen in galaxies formed and then built up over time into the amount of oxygen that we have in our Milky Way today.